Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Judith here, and I am the owner of Urban Wanderlust, if you're new. So today we are wrapping up another wholesale order um, for a subscription box company. And we actually just got some supplies in, which is really good. I'm gonna be doing a pop-up on September 23rd. It's my first fall pop-up in a very long time. So um, our room sprays have been out of stock for a little while. So I just got a restock of that. Um, I only ordered 24. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna sell all 24 during the pop-up, but if not, it'll be a good surplus for the website. Um, we are bringing them back in the fall scents, which I haven't launched yet. I'm still kind of debating which fragrances I want to do. We are bringing back a all-time classic, which is a bestseller for me. It's Falling Leaves. I've renamed it Falling Leaves, but it's a leaves type from Candle Science. But we're going to be doing that. I am going to be... What are we doing? So the room spray sticks come about eight inches or maybe six inches long and I have to trim them to about two to three inches so they can fit in our small little bottles. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-snip those to get them ready and I'm not going to pre-fill the bottles. Usually I pre-fill it with my um, diluting solution first so that it's all ready and whenever I do get an order, I then fill it in with my fragrance oil of choice um, I'm not gonna do that because if you've been a follower for a while, you know I got rid of my shelf to make room for baby stuff over here. Um, that's Ellie, like <laughs> she's getting her diaper changed. Um, yeah, forgive us if we try to give her a clean diaper, you know, the struggles. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be working on that. You know that I am working on a lot of small business tools to help out other makers. So I'm gonna be doing some more administrative work today to finish those things up. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know that I put up a poll to ask all my followers which tool they wanted to see me launch first, whether it be my small business budget chart or my wholesale catalog and line sheets and majority rules, you guys voted on the small business chart. So I am finishing up the final touches on that and I'll make that readily available for everybody. So two things for you to do, follow me on Instagram so you can be part of the voting family and two, sign up for my maker's newsletter so you know when these things drop because they're gonna know first before everyone else. So let's get started on today. Okay, so I was just editing this video, not this one, but the one you probably saw right before this one. And if you didn't see it, go watch that one and then come back over here. So I'm editing the video. I had this perfect light coming in through the window and I thought, I'm doing it. October, we are launching my one-on-one -on -one consulting. I'm opening the doors. I'm gonna start taking a couple clients little by little so I don't overwhelm myself. I guess I've been waiting for the perfect time. I don't know what I thought was gonna be the perfect time, but October is the month, so we're doing it. And also, September is my birthday month and I'm feeling generous. So what I'm gonna give you guys is a free candle business startup guide. And it's gonna have a checklist of things that you need to do to get done legally, equipment wise, supplies, marketing tips, everything. It's a couple of pages and I've been working on it for months now. And every other night I'm like going back online and tweaking a couple of things and I'm like, ooh, let me add this. Let me add this other resource on it. There's links and websites that you can visit. So I'm not just telling you what to do, I'm showing you where to go in order to get these things done. So it's just a little taste of what my expertise can bring to you guys. So that's gonna be available to you guys on September 11, my birthday, completely free for you guys. And I'll link it down below once it launches also. And then also in September, we are also launching our small business budget chart. You guys voted on Instagram between the wholesale catalog line sheets 
and the small business uh, budget chart and the budget chart one. So many of you guys need this tool in order to get your finances correct. And trust me, you need to get your money right before you start anything in business. I learned the hard way and now I'm giving it all to you guys, all these tips. I myself use this budget chart every single day in my personal life and in my business. It's gonna be available at a super affordable price. So grab yourself a copy because you're gonna be using this in the beginning of your business, in the middle of your business, every single day of your business because I do. I've been in business for six years and I use this thing every single day. Okay, so I think that's it for now. I'm gonna get back to editing this video and I'll talk to you guys later, bye. So I've been having this issue where my wicks start floating um, in my candle and then I have to quickly pour whatever I poured in there into another candle, clean out the jar, take out the wick and redo it. So usually I get uh, my wick stickers from Candle Science and I get the pro version, but this time I was like, oh, I'll save a couple cents and I'll get the regular. And I think these are kind of known for sometimes pulling away from the jar and not sticking fully. Anyway, as you can see, I have an entire roll, so I might just reorder the reg the pro version because that's what I always use and that's what I have always preferred since they came out with it because they haven't always had that. They had like the regular version, which is just a little bit thicker. You're not supposed to burn your candle all the way down anyway. So the difference between the regular wick stickers and the pro version that, um, Candle Science sells is that the regular version, it's a little bit thicker. This way you don't burn it all the way down because that's when customers are supposed to stop. Anyway, the pro version is very thin, so it allows you to burn even uh, further down to the bottom of the jar. But anyway, yeah, I, like, I usually like the pro version uh, versus this one. And I, I guess this is why because it's coming up.